it's often necessary to look back at the cars that inspired the cars we drive, race, and dream of today. This is the purpose of Pebble Beach, a pure example of how a little friendly competition can fuel automotive greatness. From the road rallies of the 50s to the more sophisticated battles that take place right here on the 18th green. Pebble Beach Concours is a beauty pageant of the best cars in the world. But more than that, it's the absolute competition. These guys come with these cars, and you'll feel it in the air in the show. They come to win. You know, Pebble Beach is, in my opinion, the most significant classic car event in the world. And it brings together just a terrific group of cars and terrific group of people. Good morning, my name is Bob Mosier and here we are at Pebble Beach, surely the most prestigious automobile show in the world. The first Pebble Beach show was in 1950 and it was combined with a, a road race through the Del Monte Forest. It, it has since grown into an enormous uh, concours and, and race weekend where there are entrants from virtually every state in the Union and, and many, many foreign countries. And because winning here means so much, that's what keeps them coming back. The need to be the best of show winner is amazing in these collectors. My first trip here was in 1971, and I've probably only missed a couple shows in the intervening years. And we've entered this show many, many times, won virtually every top award they, they give, uh, including three best of show awards. Winning best of show at Pebble Beach is quite a quest. I mean, first you have to get your car accepted, and then we have thousands of applicants, and we only have 150 judged cars on the field. As a judge, I really look for, first of all, extreme preparation and, and condition. Uh, authenticity is a big, big thing here. The judges pick what they consider to be the most elegant car. And only those cars that are judged by the class judges have an opportunity to be best of show. A simple question, which is best? And a not so simple answer that's left up to a distinguished panel of judges each of whom has made a significant impact on the world of cars. Past racing champions, current design chiefs, and this man, he made a video game. We're really pleased to have Kazunori Yamauchi this year as, a, as an honorary judge because he has that vision and love for cars. Kazunori Yamauchi has developed a video game that has brought millions of new fans to the sport of automobile racing. A game like Gran Turismo, for me, is a way for a whole new generation of people to see what these great cars are all about. In some regions, our designers really don't have the opportunity to drive cars, let alone to race cars at all. But they're such experts on cars, and they know cars so well because of Gran Turismo. I mean, it has really had this huge influence on them. They know cars, they know the performance of cars, and it's all come from that game. I mean, it's amazing. Yamauchi's attention to detail is unprecedented. His passion and deep appreciation of cars go beyond design and engineering performance. He truly believes some cars could only be described as a work of art, a philosophy he's honored for the past decade with each new chapter in the Gran Turismo franchise, a quality that makes him a perfect candidate for honorary Pebble Beach judge. As Yamauchi carefully inspects each and every detail of each and every car, we begin to gain valuable insight into his automotive tastes. <laughs> but unbeknownst to the sophisticated patrons that mill about the golf course today, there's actually a deeper purpose for Yamauchi's visit this year. One of these magnificent rolling artifacts is to be featured in the next version of Gran Turismo, GT5. 
さんもお客さんが見てます、はい、えっ、ー、とこれは三十八年のタルボフランス車そうなんですね,ですね、えーえー、なんかこうやっぱ生産技術自体は進歩してるわけだからもっとより複雑な造形ができそうなものなんだけれどももう全然この三十年代の車にか,か,かなわないって感じですよね,、うん、そうですね非常にこうこういうところでは見栄えがする車でね。ここまで来てたとね、やっぱ自動車のデザインってすごいんですね。ジェイ・レノーズ・クライスラー・タンカー、5トンのアメリカンマスルが走る車を走る。これ三浦はどこがお好きですか。<笑>えっとね、あの三浦、僕が好きなのは、まあミトシップのレイアウトを取った場合に。はい、いくつかの類型に、まあその、えー、フォルムって決まってくると思うんですね。うんうんうん、で一つの、えー、曲に、まあカウンタックみたいな、もうめちゃくちゃキャ,キャビンフォワードで、うんうん、あの、まあ。フードもグラスも一体化したような一個のウェッジシェイプの形がありますよね。うんはいうん、であれはあれですごくあの好きなんですけれども、うんうん、あのこういうなんていうのかなあの、うん、ミッドシップなんだけど、うん、ミッドシップっぽさをあまり感じさせないデザイン。そうですね。ちょっとこう途中のその映る前の段階ですよね。はい。うん、っていうのがね、うん、あのまあフォード GT なんかもねこの形ですけれども。うん、全くそうですね。えー、this is Mr. Marriott's car. He bought this car brand new, 1967。おおすごい。<笑>これが67年の、えー、たった1台のプロトタイプを、えー、オーナーさんマリオットさんが購入された時の、まあ、インボイスだそうですすごいですねすごいですね As the day rolls along the tension starts to build the decision making comes to a close and decisions have to be made for honorary judge Kazunori Yamauchi his choice will not only affect the Concord community But millions of Gran Turismo fans who might never even attend such an event. Today, Montreal Historic, and then Pebble Beach, Concord Elegance, these two events of the American car culture are the two events I want to attend. There are two events. One is the existence of a car as a presence. それを作った人の思いとか、えー、考えとか、えー、そういうものとはもう全く無関係にですねあのとにもかくにもこの世に生まれてしまった時から、えー、その車というのはあ,ある種別の価値を持ってしまう、えー、そういう存在なんだなっていうことですね、えー、それを改めて痛感しました、えー、車というのは本当にただそこに存在するだけで素晴らしい、えー、そこにあるだけで素晴らしい、えー、そういうものなんだなということですあともう一つはですね、その車というものが生まれた時代の背景ですね、ここにはたくさんの車たちが並んでいますけれども、あの車というのは19世紀の終わりに生まれました、19世紀の終わりというのはですね、えー、言ってみれば人類が、えー、鉄と火の時代を生きていた時代ですね、えー、その時代に車は生まれました。えー、一方でゲームというのは、20世紀の終わりに生ままれてます20世紀の終わりというのはどんな時代かというと、えー、情報の時代ですね鉄と火の時代に生まれた車、えー、そして情報の時代に生まれた、えー、ゲーム、えー、この2つの間の架け橋になるのが、えー、グランツリスモという、えー、ゲームなんではないかというふうに僕は思いました今後車に対して車の文化に対して、えー、僕らが何をできるんだろうあるいは僕らは何をしなければいけないんだろう Introducing the winner of the Polyphony Trophy and soon to be featured in Gran Turismo 5, the 1967 Lamborghini Miura P400 Bertoni prototype, the oldest Miura in existence. A car very well suited to be the ambassador for all that represents the past in the futuristic races of Gran Turismo. So, I'm going to talk about this.